Hi guys and welcome to your bi-weeklies that will be November 1st to November 15th and as you can see I was very lucky to be a part of this private moment between my furry two fellows and I decided to kind of let it play in the background while I shamelessly pitch in my uh, yearly annual telescopes that will be pre-issued um, on December 4th for these guys who actually have pre-orders and the price currently is $19.95 for the individual scope so meaning if you just need one sign just go on my site www.cattero.ca and order just your sign and you're going to get it around the 4th of December if you want all the signs Currently the price is $39.95, the same story by about the 4th of December, I believe that's the end of the first week in December. And the price is actually switching, I think in about month time to a different price. So, I mean, I really want to honor you guys who are ordering this earlier. So if you want to order, just go to www.cattarot.ca slash pre-order and you can just put it there and just wait for this to actually come to play in your hands so thank you very much and if you want to see the entire tape of these two furballs enjoying kind of like moments for halloween just like wait for the end of the video okay thank you love you Hi Virgos and welcome to your bi-weekly. So, wow, the bottom of the deck six of wands. What is going on? We need to be admired? This is kind of weird. It happens in so many signs so far. So six of wands reversed talks about stroking your ego. Kind of like somebody really needs it. So I don't know if this is you or you will need to give it to someone. We'll find out, right? So, we have Five of Swords reversed, right, to start off. Could it be somebody who initially was taking advantage of a situation and, and decided to, I just forget it, I don't really care if anybody else loses the situation, I don't care if this kind of sharp cut is being felt. Look at the choice between the knives or the hot, kind of like steamy, whatever, boiling thing there is there, right? Even though, weirdly enough, there is like this kind of feeling of things coming out, but there is no fire. So meaning, lots of arguing and a battle that basically everybody lost. It's one of those situations where you have lose, lose, lose situation. In relationships, you cannot have win and lose. That was that really old school when one partner would tell another partner, this is the way you're going to do it. L literally, this really doesn't work, you know? With normal people, it doesn't. This is crossed with nine of wands. And again, there's this feeling of being on alert, the feeling of, oh gosh, you know, I feel injured. No wonder like all this kind of like knives pierced you over here. It's like still, I really don't know which side is coming from, but at least you're getting some kind of like firm support behind you and you're still fighting. So even though maybe somebody harmed you, and it could be words, it could be even actions that kind of like felt harmful. You kind of like are still kind of like fighting your battle over here and kind of protecting yourself. Okay, I'm starting to think now we have another six of pentacles and you had a six uh, of wands here. It could be a third person or it could be that you're involved in some kind of deal of because this card is talking about give and take and the deal could be give and take where you give and they take, right? So we will see if I have any other card. It kind of would confirm this. This is telling me usually about imbalance. It's talking about, right, you have to look at a card and tell me which one are you? Are you the one that's benefactor, this light that kind of like emanates from you? Or is somebody who really needs something? You see, because like when this kind of turns around, it tells me again, similar situation that you are not feeling 
the situation is balanced and that even when you give and give and give, you don't feel about it. If you take and take and take, you don't feel really that this is the right thing to go about because it kind of feels lonely, right? And it doesn't feel like it's being done for the right reasons. So let's see the past. Huh. I'm not surprised to see justice. Justice is blind. And she has the two opposite sides, always kind of arguing, right? Hissing at each other. There are like so many different secrets that have to be kind of like unleashed over here. So something happened in the past that is actually balancing things out because this is a card that asks about balance. This is also one of my karma cards, meaning when something is out of balance, we tend to control the issue we want to kind of balance them out it's normal you see the uh, painting hanging down you do want to put it back right it's a knee-jerk reaction this is asking you actually not to do it I mean, it's asking you saying you know what just let's see what happens kind of a thing so if this is still kind of permeating to your present just let things work out on their own so this is i guess connecting to these sixes i'm going to put this one here as well so what is crowning you is two of swords. Two of swords reversed. You see, she is trying to hit, uh, right, a target. But I don't know if you see it. She is actually blindfolded. So that's really not a good idea, especially with others around, right? So it's kind of like somebody who possibly can't. It's like... I don't see I'm stuck, I cannot make the decision. The twos are about duality and ultimately justice is two. And again, it's possibly good things because this is saying don't take it in your hands and that's exactly what you are guys doing. It's actually a really good move in this particular situation. So what is ahead of you is the emperor. So you see this is on the other side of justice so there's the stability it's kind of getting in control taking charge and, and trying to figure out how to kind of organize things which is kind of like music to your ears guys the emperor is also ultimate masculine principle and you're virgo right you are ultimate you're not ultimate libra as i think ultimate feminine but you're very feminine principle so it could be that maybe you kind of need to get certain things in life that have to have a firmer attention, right? Maybe bills, maybe, you know, planning, Christmas is coming, you want to kind of set your budget. The emperor is basically really saying you put this map and strategy because these two cards are sort of like feel as if they're connected that, you know, you feel maybe that money was leaking out. This also could mean a person, guys. And even though I kind of see here it was arguing with somebody, it could be another person. I can also see maybe some legal process that was taking place. And maybe maybe you lost in this legal process. Or maybe you even kind of won, but it, it just kind of, at the time it felt like winning, but you don't feel like winning anymore. And you're still kind of willing to fight in certain direction. This could mean actually, uh, especially if you're a woman, that man, a very strong man, a very powerful man in a very powerful situation or position will be entering your life. Somebody who could be in a, in a legal department or somebody who is accountant or a CEO in particular, right? But somebody who could be very, very loyal, but not too much of a romantic. Well, emotions are chariot. This is actually really good because we have that way and we have that way. Now, which way is right? Because both of them are right. You see, each decision we make possibly creates alternate universe. So if you decide to not to fight and not to make decision, which is kind of maybe counterintuitive, you're going to get to this person, right? If you decide to make a decision, maybe somebody's asking you to do it and you're putting the justice in your hands, maybe everything is falling apart, you're going back into this. So that's the duality that is talking about. Chariot certainly talks about 
something that is very fast, very strong, some motion, and and like you're moved, you'll feel moved in this time period. And this could be like actually somebody moving you really uh, profoundly. It could be like that hit. When you meet somebody who maybe initially doesn't really strike you as like, you know, the love on the first sight, but it does strike you as a love on the second sight, right? Let's see our environment. Ugh, five of Pentacles. Are you leaving somebody in the cold? Or you feel left out in the cold? I think you're leaving somebody in the cold here. So let's see here. This is demanding uh, some kind of clarification. You see this Knight of Swords is very kind of similar to this Justice. It could be that somebody left you out in a cold as well, and you just want to know why, what, what's going on, why are you doing this? Maybe you see that's what I said, there is duality, which, which path do I take? This one or this one, right? So we see it, if you take this path, somebody's going to leave you out in the cold. It's going to be kind of, you are going to be the warrior, you're going to actually say, well, this is what, what I want. But she's sort of looking this way. And this was going to the back, going to the past, still living certain things from the past. And let's see the possible trajectory. Yay! Ace of Swords. This is the fastest card in this entire deck. And again, talks about the truth. The truth will be told. Guys, I don't know what it is, and you're avoiding it, and you're going to do everything possible to avoid a situation, not to face it. I think it is you who need this, maybe accolades, maybe certain... Uh, pampering even if this is self-pampering so i'm not so sure if there was a third person not necessarily but it's something kind of felt out of balance over here and it, it you kind of like feel that either you neglected yourself or that somebody neglected you and like right now you're going to go in the direction of look i need some clarity i need to know how and where am i going because you have lots of air in your reading really a lot so I mean, you have five of swords, you have two of swords, you have one of swords, you have knight of swords over here, right? And you have justice, all air cards. You have ones, you have two pentacles, and yet you don't have cups. So it looks like um, romance is really not high on your mind. But stability and getting control of something really is, and maybe going in a new direction. Now, I do see possible Aries. I do possibly see cancer over here i see libra as well this could be some kind of like additional uh, so those of you who are connected to the sign this is like even twice as important okay let me see this emperor i want to see why is emperor here the emperor see that's going to be really fortunate some fortunate guy and in, in intimacy guys something really private happening despair why is this despair here I guess <laughs> maybe because this sometimes represent Aries they don't like to share and be very careful you might actually meet somebody who is very jealous who's very jealous so or you will be very jealous over this person. So this is maybe the clarity that you need to reach out here. So let me see this five of pentacles here. What is five of pentacles here? Yeah, you know what? It was a situation that didn't really end well. You kind of like feel neglected or locked out or, you know, not nourished. And then again, like you are right here, somebody is going to provoke this communication. It could be that you left somebody out because here I'm seeing, you know, somebody maybe blocked you, right? Or somebody blocked somebody. But the commission, communication and contact is coming out soon. It might be even getting together to see what is going on. And again, this is kind of debating in which kind of direction to go. Ultimately, guys, in this period of time, you're dealing with with clarifying things, with reaching clarity. This card is all about clarity. And look, you have this like real emotions over here. So um, it's going to be a really interesting period, Virgos. And I would like to know to see what's going on. And if you want your private reading, uh, contact me at www.cattero.ca. In the meantime, please subscribe, like, share, 
or I'll see you on the Facebook. Love you. All the best. And stay tuned because Sefi and Matrix are having their love fest in the next few minutes. Thank you.